Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is the next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. And in this video, we will continue with user interface. We'll have a bit of VB coding as well. So if you are interested in learning any of this, please make sure that you stay and watch till the end. And while you're watching, how about subscribing to the channel? And if you end up liking this video, how about smashing the like button as well? So YouTube algorithm knows that this video should be spread to many people, right? So you can support the channel in that way as well. Uh, also do have some engagement in the comments below let me know if you want to ask anything want to say anything uh, you're most welcome to do that all right so let's talk about the video the content uh, the things that we are going to make today in the last video i made this form called main form it will work as a dashboard and i've also made a login form as well um so Login was actually not part of my database schema at the start because I I thought I'll make a simple application, uh, so therefore login mechanism is not required. Then I thought about it, uh, and then I thought, okay, let's add login mechanism. So that means I have done some modification in the database. That's what actually I wanted to say. So if you have if you have been following this video series, uh, I would strongly suggest that you make the changes in your database as well. The first thing I've done is I've renamed the doctor's table to uh, TBL staff. And I have not just renamed, I've added a couple of fields in here. So for example, I've added the staff type, uh, username, password. So these three fields are new and the doctor ID has been renamed to staff ID. So these are the modifications I've done. I've also created another table in the SQL server called staff type. So, uh, you know, I know these changes, you know, some of you might be thinking, hey, you must have thought about this before. I did. Actually, I did. But then I deliberately left this uh, uh, because I thought, you know, we'll make simple uh, application. But again, my mind told me that, you know, look, you have to add uh, this uh, mechanism of login. So that's why I've now modified it. So hopefully you don't mind it. Um, please update and modify your database as well. That's what I wanted to say. Now let's add a bit of um, data in here in the staff, staff type uh, table. For example, we will have doctors. Okay. We will have nurse. We will have our administrator, for example. All right. And if you want to add any other uh, role or staff type, please do that as well. So I'll just close it. We'll save it. Yes. Now I'll close this table as well. Um, we are going to work with this table in a moment. Now, I've also created a form offline. It's called staff form. It's a blank form. Nothing is added yet. I will add it in front of you. I will also create another form. So now this form will be used to create and edit the staff information, basically performing the card operation. But at the same time, we must have some sort of list view of all the available stuff as well so that means i want to have a similar form to this form what you're looking at but that form will uh, display the staff uh, information in the uh, list box so how about first of all closing this and then copying this all right so copy and then pressing Control v on the keyboard and making a copy of it so we'll call it manage staff yep yeah? I think that's a fair name. We'll go to the uh, design view and we'll get rid of everything essentially on this form. So press Control A and delete everything. There we go. Okay, now it's neat and clean. All right, let's expand the size a little bit and maybe we will bring this footer a little bit closer to the header. Okay, now that's done. Next, uh, what I would like to do is I would like to bound this form to uh, the data. And to do that, I would like to have a query created. I can actually bound this form to the table as well, which is staff table. But, you know, the staff ID would be then one. So your user might not know what the staff ID one means, uh, staff type ID one means. Uh, so, and the other things can also be, uh, you know, bit of uh, um, codes or primary keys, which I think are not preferable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a query based on this table. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go to the create tab in the ribbon. We'll go to query design. We'll fetch the staff table and also we'll fetch the staff types table. Trust me, there is a relationship, but for some reason it's not showing here, but there is a relationship in SQL Server as well. So let's fetch the fields that we want. So I'm uh, just pressing double click one by one on all of these fields. So here, the staff type, I want to have staff type here uh, from the staff types table. And then we'll get the username, password, and status. And I think that's it. 
let's uh, save this query and we'll call it staff queue all right that's done now let's bound uh, this this form uh, to the staff queue query so we'll go to the property sheet and in here oh there's a code behind it so let's get rid of the code all right one line of code two three lines i think including the on error resume next anyway so we'll go to the data tab and the record source we will just simply assign it to the staff queue now let's bring all the fields from so we'll click on add existing fields and we'll select all the fields and we will bring it here right and now let's have it in the tabular view now we don't want to stack it because the idea is that this is going to be continuous form and by saying countries form i just recall that i have to make this uh, as is countries form from single form so we'll do that after this anyway we'll go back here where because they are all selected we will go to right click we'll do right click in the menu we'll go to layout and we'll say it's a tabular and we will just align them now we have to do a bit of uh formatting that means you know making the font color changes bringing the fields together etc 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 all right here we go uh now let's make these labels font white color <clears throat> all right and let's do a little bit of formatting here in terms of giving a appropriate space okay so we'll do that here here stuff type username there we go i think that's enough for now but we will see it later on we have to do a bit of modification so you know in terms of um, in terms of the uh, formatting so we'll do that later first let's fix the skeleton that's the idea so let's increase the width to 1.5 okay and then i think staff type also let's let's increase a little bit username uh, let's keep it same um email address let's expand a little bit and by the way if you don't want all the fields to be populated you can actually remove those fields anyhow let's select the form and now let's change it from default view from single form to the continuous form all right and uh, i would also you know bring this footer closer to the header okay and we will select all of these labels now bring them down a little bit and because we will have buttons combo boxes on the top so we need a space uh, a little bit on the top so let's have a button first of all what this button would do well this button will be used to create uh, stuff all right let's change the styling of the button uh, it's a very weird color by the way let's uh, make the shape outline transparent or white after you anyway increase the size of the button here we go we'll place it nicely here if we will go to the form view this is how our form looks like great so skeleton is ready by no uh, means that this form is completely polished it's a skeleton okay now the next thing i would like to do is i would like to actually click on this button so we can open uh, this form staff form but before i do that how about bringing some fields on the staff form as well so let's go to design view form design property sheet let's assign so this we can assign directly to the table all right and we'll go to the form design add staff so we'll select all we'll fetch all the fields onto the form we'll right click this we will do the stacking we'll go to the arrange tab and we'll say narrow we'll uh, go back to home tab we'll make font completely black now we will go back to the form properties um or, or, or sorry we will select these text boxes or before i do that let me just do one thing because then i have to change the height again and that really annoys me so i will ch i will do the modification first all right first of all i'll bring them here just extend so here i want to staff type i want to convert to the combo box and i want to uh, give a row source to the staff type and you guessed it from the staff types table okay so let's close that let's say yes to it format column count two uh, width zero column one okay and we will select all of these 
and we'll make the height 0 0.3 and then top margin 0 0.04 or 0 0.5 okay i think that's that's enough and you know formatting always takes time so please bear with me some of you really ask me every single time that why did you do that particular uh, formatting or table making or uh, form making offline you should do everything online so you know that's what i'm trying to do here but for some people this might not be really um, useful because they have been doing since long time for some it will be useful for sure if you are especially new to microsoft access new to making user interfaces or databases or applications so for you for definitely for you it will be useful that's why i'm demonstrating i'm talking a lot as of now because i'm doing the formatting at the same time so hopefully you are not getting bored and you're watching what is happening on the screen all right so that's done formatting is done and now well, let's go to the form view and let's see how does it look like great and staff type awesome now let's do one thing i would like to have this form as unbound form okay so no record source we'll use record sets to create the record update the record and fetch the record and everything else and let's change uh, let's make these uh, unbound as well actually i got a comment uh, a few days ago i think yesterday um, yesterday uh, i got a comment saying why don't you link the forms to the table why do you have to do a lot of coding um, and use record set and i don't see any value in doing that yeah that might be true but for me record sets are much better especially when an application is going to be used in professional environment by multi-users so i think that's my point of view i might be wrong again but my point of view is that the database uh, that is used as multi-user the record set is great okay now we've got it let's click on create button and let's open this form so for that we need to go back to the design mode we need to actually write one line of code ptn create staff oh, <laughs> staff right so even tab on click event dot dot oh not the expression i want the code builder okay one line of code do cmd dot open form and which form we want the uh, staff staff form i think that's the name yeah staff form uh that's about it that's what we want okay so that's done now let's go to the form view and there you go we have the staff form which is unbound not linked to any data uh, so let's go ahead and now let's do the final act of this uh, video which is creating the record and we will use the record sets to create the record and we'll do the coding behind create button so let's quickly go to design view let's select create event tab on click event dot 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 code builder and for that we will use dim rs as a record set and set rs equals current db dot open record set and we will open the parenthesis and close the parenthesis and we will define which table we want the record sets to be created and the table name is tbl staff okay so we'll copy the name of the table and we'll paste right in in between the uh, quotations comma now this is important if you are working with sql as a database this bit is important db open a set and comma db c changes okay please make sure that you apply that now rs dot add new and then rs dot update okay and now let's go to the table right click design yes all right so we'll uh, get the first field rs and first name me dot first name all right rs last name equals me dot last name rs exclamation mark specialization equals me dot specialization rs phone rs exclamation phone me dot phone all right rs exclamation mark email me dot email rs exclamation mark stuff type me dot stuff type okay uh, rs Exclamation mark username me dot username rs exclamation mark password me dot password and then me dot status equals 
so when the record is added obviously they are active so rs status equal me dot status right so we have few more things to do we are about to be done um once the record is added and the record is updated now the next thing i would like to do before we close the record set i want to fetch the um, record id and i want to populate onto the staff id text box that's what i want to do so to do that i would use the dmax function so we'll say me dot staff id equals dmax and it, it it will ask a couple of things and we will provide that information and uh, as part of dmax what i will do is i will first what dmax need is what exactly we are looking for so we're looking for staff id then what dmax would need is the domain domain is basically simply saying the table and name so that's what it needs all right hang on and we select from here okay since we have the table name here we copy and paste and that's it that's about it so then now it will fetch the staff id and it will populate onto the form once it it did that now we can close the record set and we'll say rs dot close and set rs equals nothing all right and that's done now can we do some more um okay one more line of code i think we need to requery this form so the record which gets created it gets populated here as well so that's the confirmation to the user that yeah the record which i was trying to create it has been created and it is being populated onto this list form to make this form requery i just need to add one line of code okay and that means forms manage staff that's the name of the form and dot requery okay so now it should uh requery the records it should populate and update onto the form so let's close that let's close uh everything and now let's open this form and let's add a new record okay staff id we don't need to add it will come automatically uh, first name we will add for example john doe oh, sorry that's first name john last name is doe specialization maybe cardiology cardiology and phone would be uh, one two three four five six seven let's just say email john dot doe dot email dot com uh, staff type maybe it's doctor username uh, username right now it's integer value so we'll give integer inf value and the password we can give any password like john d if our code is correct everything should work and the things should be populated in the right area so let's click on create and it is correct right you can see that the um the record is created and it is populated onto this form as well so that's what i wanted to demonstrate in this video i hope that you have learned something from this video if you have and if you haven't even please do let me in the comments below but, uh, if you like whatever you've seen smash the like button so you get uh, and also subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload any video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one